Hi everyone, this is Jeremy Nolvan. So today I'm going to introduce you guys to a new concept in econometrics. So this is the introduction to the autoregression model. So what is very different about the autoregression model is that you use a different uh, data structure to, um, to use the autoregression model in statistics and econometrics. Before, all my videos were mainly focusing on statistical models that you would use in panel data or in cross-sectional data. But here, the autoregression model and the other models such as the vector autoregression or, um, or the autoregression integration moving average. So you have the ARIMA, the ARMA, all, all of these models. We use them in what we call time series or we also we can also call it the stochastic process so what is the auto regression model so it is a so the auto regression model is a statistical model used in economics finance history biology political science etc it is based on the stochastic process or also random process And the particularity of the autoregression model is that we use the previous values of the of the dependent variable or output variable of the output variable. to predict or forecast the future values of that same output variable. So that's the main um, concept of the auto regression model. So you you don't have like an X and a Y. You only have a Y, which is the output variable, and you use that output variable. So the past values of that output variable to try to predict what could happen. Let me illustrate you to this. So let's say you want to determine your sales in the next. Uh, let's say in the next month or the next weeks, right? So let's say you're selling milk. All right, so this is your weeks and this is your sales. So here you have uh, week one. Okay, let me put it here, W1, so you know that I'm talking about week one. So here you have W1, W2, W3, W4, W5, and W6. All right, and here you have sales. Let's say, okay, sales are always in dollars, no matter what. So uh, let's see here you have, you have made 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. All right, and then let's say you have a graph like this. All right, so this here represent the sales you've made from, um, so since week one, all the way. So what is the particularity of the uh, auto regression model here? As we said, we use the previous values of the output variable to predict or forecast the future values of that same output variable. So what is important to understand about the auto regression model is that it has to have a stationary trend. That is the main assumption. So the main assumption of the AR, so autoregression, is that 
it must have a stationary and linear trend. So if you think about it, the the other regression model is a little bit like the simple linear regression, but it is strictly applied to time series data. So, okay, so here, this is basically time, then sales. So how, how would you write the model of the auto regression? So the auto regression always start with uh, one lag, so we will write it this way y t t for time equals beta zero which is of course the fixed parameter plus beta one y t minus one plus epsilon t this is the model of the ar1 why we call it ar1 because we only moving one lag before so here in this time series data we're only moving one week before so we're moving one week before in order to predict what will be the sales for let's say uh, week seven or week eight. So we're trying to move one week before, and then we applying the stochastic process to determine what will be uh, the values. So basically, the sales here in uh, week seven or week eight or week nine. So this is basically the model you see here. And let's say uh, you want to go two lags or three lags before. Now the auto regression model here will become AR2 or AR3. So you can simply write it this way. Yt equals, of course, beta zero plus beta one, yt minus one plus, oops, sorry guys. plus beta two y t minus two plus beta three y t minus three plus epsilon. So this will be, if you wanna go even further, if you wanna go like two or three weeks previously to, to, to determine what will be the value of the sales in the further weeks so it depends and another particularity that i want to mention about the auto regression model is that uh if the correlation is strong so basically let's say if the r square is above 0 0.7 which is what you want for the auto regression model if the r square is above that that means that you have a very strong model that you can rely on to make your predictions. That's the purpose of the auto regression model because that's why we're using the same output variable and we, that's why we use the previous values of that same output variable to determine its future uh, values. So the R square has to be stronger than 0.7. If it is stronger than 0.7, that means it's a good model to use. It doesn't mean that if it's below that is necessarily a bad model but it's going to be harder to rely on it so it is better when your correlation is stronger than 0.7 means that uh, the values that you're going to predict are much more reliable so yeah pretty much this is uh, one um, assumption to to know about the auto regression model so guys this is just a brief introduction to for you guys to uh, to understand what is the auto regression model it is used a lot in economics and finance and history 
uh, historians use that, uh, specifically cloud metricians, they use that to understand past trends. And we use it a lot for, for prediction, for forecasting. When you see uh, many studies that talk about the future projections of GDP growth or inflation or uh, I don't know, whatever economic in indicator you can think of, they use time series data to do that. Time series data is uh, specifically dedicated for forecasting. So the auto regression model is designed for that. And next week, I will try to dig into the vector auto regression model, which is basically a, uh, an extension of the auto regression model. So I hope you find this video uh, informative and uh, let me know what you think. But yeah, so this is a basic idea. Things can get a little more complicated, but my goal here is not to teach you the complicated stuff, but just for you to have a basic idea of what each statistical model entails. So that's my goal, and I hope that I have achieved it specifically in this video because time series is something that is kind of new. So let me know what you guys think, and until then, see you next time.